guys, welcome to a new video. It's opening day of the muzzle loader, and so Dad and I are out here looking for muleys or whitetails. We got both of them. We're at um, been here since probably 20 minutes before shooting light. Haven't glassed anything up yet. Um, it's just kind of surprising. This is usually a pretty good spot to at least find deer, but. We had a crazy full moon uh, the last two nights, and so I think there's been a lot of activity um, throughout the night and early morning before shooting light. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to pick something up soon that we can make a play on. Heating up some water right now to try out these new meals. Yeah, Adventure Wells. Um, they hit me up on Instagram and asked if I could give their stuff a try. I was more than happy, so this will be the first time trying it. Um, it does, they're gluten free, keto friendly, so pretty healthy meals, which is cool. Uh, Lolly's breakfast scrambles, what I'm trying this morning. See, see how they are. Um, they have really good reviews and um, they've been great to talk to and really helpful so far. So. See how they are. Well, I got my food warming up, but I'm probably actually gonna throw it in my pack and head out of here because I haven't seen any deer on this side um, of the basin since at all this morning, so. And a hunter just walked in down below me. So I'll probably just get out of here, head off to this other side, start glassing over there. And yeah, see if I can find something else. But I found like five or six does, I think, way down in the bottom, but no bucks. Hey guys, just got back to the truck and, um, Got a text from my dad, said he's working in on two bucks. Um, and I came down, I was actually able to find him here from the road. I can see him and I can see the bucks and both are legal, which is pretty cool. So one of them's a nice one too. Um, yeah, so I'll see if I can get some footage of them and man, hopefully he can make a play on them. Just went behind that little knob in front. There's my dad there. And the bucks were in this draw right over here. So still got a little ways to go and the bucks went behind there now so I can't see them, unfortunately. Hey guys, I've come up here where I can kind of see over most area. I can't still, still can't see the bucks right now. They're in the draw. Um, probably, I guess it was like 300-ish yards away from my dad. Um, and I'm probably like 1,500 yards away from them. So, and across like a pretty good canyon. But... Yeah, so I just, he's just kind of slowly working in. I haven't been able to contact him yet. Um, he's only gotten one text through. So, um, yeah, hopefully he'll catch them soon. They, I think they've moved a pretty good amount since when he saw them last. So, yeah, hopefully I can get in touch with him soon and maybe um, help him out a little bit.
guys were never able to turn up those bucks again, unfortunately. Um, seeing a few white-tailed does now near in the bottom, but I haven't seen any bucks yet. So, yeah, I'll meet up with my dad here in a minute and, um, yeah, see if he saw anything else while he was up there. Two guys just had a little buck jump up in front of us, and we thought there'd be another one with it, but there wasn't. So, yeah, we're in a completely new spot today. I've never been, which is cool, but hopefully, we find a buck. Well, guys, no luck there just that little buck and it looked like when we lost sight of him I saw his tracks again and there was two sets of buck tracks I think he maybe picked up another one when he left our site uh, but never was able to relocate him to see if he was legal or not so uh, not sure if we're going out tonight but next weekend we might do a camping trip and try to spend the whole weekend looking for our bucks yep I'll keep you guys updated Hey guys, welcome back from the second weekend here for Washington muzzleloader season. Been hiking for about an hour now. And we just got three legal bucks spotted. Um, they're in kind of a tough spot, and they just lost visual of them. So um, we're trying to move down the canyon for you, see if we can relocate them, and see if they're bedding or not. They're going to a pretty uh, nasty cliff band, so we kind of want to have an idea of where they're at before we go after them. But yeah, pretty stoked that we already got some located. Here pretty quick so yeah last time we seen them they were way up there right about where the sunlight is heading towards these cliffs so
right, guys, welcome to a new morning. Uh, yesterday was Davy seen those four legal bucks and uh, got a shot off on that one, but missed. And yeah, we're back in the same spot and haven't seen anything yet, unfortunately. But it's still pretty early, and so my dad's back here glassing up on the hill where we saw the three. And I'm gonna keep going on probably another half mile to glass some more country so yeah it was pretty eventful yesterday and hopefully today will too went out in the evening and saw a lot of white tailed does but no bucks yep. There's a buck up there. Pretty nice three point. Pretty close. See like that biggest dead fur up there? From, um, he's right below that. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, unfortunately, um, lost sight of those bucks, and we don't know where they went. Not sure if they went up on top or into the timber, but we have one more day tomorrow. We can maybe try to make one last ditch effort to find them and come in from the top and not the bottom like we have been. So, yeah, unfortunately... It, I don't know, we just tried to move spots to get a better view and completely moved out of the whole hillside somewhere. Unless they bedded down right behind where we can't see now. But, yep, still cool to see them. But hopefully we'll be able to maybe turn them up again and make a play tomorrow. Guys, it's the last day of muzzle order season. Um, came into a new spot than where we've been and seeing a lot of deer now, but only one little buck so far and hoping they keep funneling up, sitting above some ag fields. Um, but yeah, just hopefully a legal buck will come by soon. There's a lot of deer, so I wouldn't be surprised if one does show up somewhere. for sure, but I'm gonna go get a closer look.
Well guys, I was close. We got to 280, I believe, on them, which is, you know, about 80 yards too far out. Both of them are legal bucks, which was cool. And just couldn't get any closer. They had us pinned in the wide open. Didn't know that they ended up bedding um, in between the time we saw them and got over here. So, but yeah, it was pretty fun. I think this will be the last video, so or last um, part of this video because today's last day we gotta go pack up camp and get out of here so yeah thanks for watching and um yeah see you guys on the next video